Atopic dermatitis is characterized by barrier dysfunction, inflammation, and pruritus. Integrity of the skin barrier is crucial because it prevents the loss of moisture and it acts as a first line of defense against injury from microbes and irritants. Barrier dysfunction in atopic dermatitis is the result of genetic, immunologic, and mechanical factors such as scratching. Key to the integrity of the skin barrier and the ability of the skin to prevent water loss is the protein filaggrin. A defect in the filaggrin protein can result in disruption of the keratinocyte differentiation and impaired integrity and cohesion of cells in the stratum corneum. This results in a permeable skin barrier and decreased water retention. Filaggrin mutations affect the formation of lipids needed for maintaining skin pH and natural lubrication. All these factors result in dry skin and an environment conducive to microbial growth. Filaggrin defects also result in the release of epithelial cell-derived cytokines, including thymic stromal lymphopoietin, or TSLP, IL-25, and IL-33. Additionally, damage to the skin barrier influences the upregulation of Th2 cytokines, IL-4, and IL-13. This milieu of cytokines further decreases filaggrin levels and promotes inflammation by causing an increase of IgE and eosinophils. Mechanical injury, external irritants, and microbes also trigger the skin's immune cells and increase the formation of inflammatory cytokines, especially IL-25, IL-33, and TSLP, which play a vital role in activating the Th2 cascade. All of these factors work together to further compromise the integrity of the skin, creating greater permeability for external irritants to penetrate the barrier and increased transepidermal water loss. In terms of atopic pruritus, Th2 cells are significant sources of the itching-inducing cytokine IL-31. However, studies have shown that neuronal signaling of type 2 cytokines IL-4 and IL-13 critically regulate the atopic-associated itch. The inflammatory cytokines IL-25, IL-33, and TSLP discussed earlier not only influence inflammation when released, they also act directly on nerves causing pruritus by inducing a type 2 immune response. Additionally, the JAK and STAT proteins bind to the type 1 and 2 cytokine receptors at multiple sites in the atopic dermatitis inflammatory response. Upon binding, the JAK proteins phosphorylate STAT proteins. The JAK-STAT proteins selectively associate with different cytokines, including IL-4, IL-5, IL-13, IL-31, IL-22, and TSLP, propagating inflammation and pruritus. In summary, the disrupted skin barrier and decreased levels of filaggrin create a cycle of inflammation, pruritus, and increased skin barrier disruption fueled by inflammatory cytokines.